Are you sick of the same political war every four years for power between the jackasses and the fat asses, only to realize moments later that it doesn't matter because they're both dumbasses? Well then perhaps it'll do you well, come November 2012, to not vote for an ass at all, but a dick. That's right, it's official. I am now running for President of the United States. These ass clowns have had decades to get something done. It's time for a real change, and I do believe this mofo is that change. Jack Dickelson, a man who will definitely shake up DC like the rotten child it has become. A man of vision. I have all kinds of plans if elected. The legal drinking age will remain 21. However, once you reach the age of 21, you will be required by law to drink on a daily basis or face fines and prison time. In prisons, the prisons will all be full of alcohol and you will be fed it intravenously until you get the fucking point. An honest man. I cry after sex. A man with connections. Sometimes I drunk dial Timmy. Sometimes I drunk dial Oprah Winfrey too. She never answered though. She's a snotty bitch. If I'm good enough for Timmy, I'm good enough for you, you cum bucket. Pick up the phone. A fair man. What's up, fat ass Randy? Not to be confused with fat ass Andy, and that will get confusing after a while. I demand that one of you change your name immediately, or... A man of discipline. Or when I'm president, I will imprison you. A man who remembers what he says. Uh, actually, the, the prisons will be full of alcohol, so I, I will, in fact, not imprison you. Ha! That'll show you. A man who knows how to handle that prick, Bill O'Reilly. Not here to make you feel good about yourself. I'm here to waste your time. Sit down. Shut up. Play with yourself. Are you mad? A man with great thoughts. This morning, as I was masturbating in the shower, I thought occurred to me. A man unapologetically unafraid of exposing his own flaws. <clears throat> but I can't remember what it was. Because I was masturbating. So don't be duped by Ron Paul's decades-old sob story. Well, it isn't because I've changed my message, because my message has been the same for 30 years, and it's the same as four years ago, but the world has changed, the country has changed. And don't be fooled by Obama's ever-increasing list of empty promises. Think about the America within our reach. A country that leads the world in educating its people. No! An America that attracts a new generation of high-tech manufacturing and high-paying jobs. No! A future where we're in control of our own energy no! and our security and prosperity aren't so tied to unstable parts of the world no! or be hypnotized by his unbelievably stale dance moves really that guy's black and do not fall for the words in a shitty rap by some dumb fucking whack-ass wannabe who lacks intellect Obama please move over I'm taking the keys showing facts to back up his claims America borrows four billion dollars a day and most importantly, actual plans on how he's going to fix this goddamn country. Let me tell you how my time will be spent. I ride around Air Force One. I won't sleep till the work is done. Yeah, cool story there, fucker. You mind letting us in on how you're gonna do it? So this election, vote for greatness. Woo! It makes the panties drop. Vote for freshness. I got a little refund from the IRS. When I did little. I mean that in the purest form of the word. Thanks to my little teenage write-off. Vote for the guy with the awesome hats. Vote Jack Dickelson, 2012. I approve of that. Special thanks to Metal Vocals 1 for providing the original music you hear now.